brave writer artist Svetlana Jimakova publisher Yen Press Jensen Graham is a little overweight, a little awkward, and a little bit of a dreamer. He aspires to be an astronaut, knows exactly what to do in the event of a zombie apocalypse, and views his life as a nodal way CC video game. He is also easily taken advantage of, even by the people he considers as friends. The poor sweet boy is so used to bullying he doesn't even realize he's being bullied. That's a rather gloomy undertone for a story, don't you think that's the spine of Brave, a children's graphic novel written and drawn by Svetlana Chimakova? While its central conflict may sound a little bit dark, this is counterbalanced by the book's cheery characters and adorable illustrations, which make Brave one of the cutest stories you will ever read. Chimakova is an award-winning Russian-Canadian manga artist with more than 10 published books. Her best-known book is probably Awkward 2015, about teenager Penelope Tours and her quest to fit in at Barabrook Middle School. The book was nominated for an Eisner Award in 2016, and won the 2017 Rocky Mountain Book Award Gold Medal. Brave is a follow-up to Awkward also set in Barabrook Middle School, it does feature Penelope, but mostly focuses on the shy Jensen. The book shows how Jensen deals with difficult class projects, weird friends, and being roped into a project with the school newspaper, run by the spirited duo of Akila and Jenny. The most notable thing about Brave is how cute it is. And that's not just Chamaklova's art style, which is a happy combination of caricature and chibi. Its characters are adorable, particularly Jensen, who is extremely unsure of himself, yet so hopeful and well-meaning that you can't help but root for him. The poor boy takes everything so seriously it's almost hilarious. Jensen loves dreaming about space while staring into space. Photo Yen Press its larger-than-life characters, Canadian school setting and occasional fantasies involving video games sometimes made the book feel like a younger version of Brian Lee O'Malley's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World however, the two are little alike. Most of the characters, and there are a lot of them, this is a packed middle school after all are fleshed out well. The occasionally tense relationship between highly stringed Jenny and the cooler-headed Aquila is fun to read, and one of the most memorable characters is Jorge, a jock of few words who somehow becomes Jensen's friend. Another little plus for this book is how diverse its characters are. Apart from Jensen, the book's two main characters are Aquila and Jenny, who are a Chinese and a Muslim with a headscarf respectively. Jensen is prepared if a zombie apocalypse ever breaks out. Now if only he was that prepared for everyday school life. Photo Yen Press While the book is charming, it is not afraid to sometimes get serious. Brave touches a lot on issues faced by kids nowadays, these include fitting in, shaming, and most prominently, bullying. Most of the issues are depicted honestly and very true to life. While one major issue is resolved in a rather Hollywood manner, most of Brave's plot feels real. Much of what Jensen feels and does, in his attempts to fit in with everything, will definitely strike a chord with many readers. Brave will definitely delight young readers those aged 10 to 16 will probably derive the most satisfaction from it. The book, however, definitely has enough charms to hold the attention of much older readers. This book will soon have a follow-up continuing the series' alphabetical theme, it will be called Crush, and focus on Jorge. And if it's anything like Awkward and Brave, it looks like Chimakova could have an amazing trilogy in her hands. Brave is available at Kino Kunia, Surya KLCC. Call 0321648133 or email ebd3 underscore kbm at kinokunia.co.jp.